Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you that how I use AI in order to manage my email because I wrote a program a few months back and it's working so fine. I, I just want to make it public because I think everyone needs it. I shared it with a few of my friends and they are loving it. So I use AI not to progress in time but to use my classic way of living more better, my minimalist lifestyle better because previously it was so hard to write uh, you know, CLI programs config manually by hands but now I use chat gpt to do it sometimes okay not chat gpt actually gemini but whatever okay so the thing is that even in 2025 emails is the best way to communicate with people not people actually it's mostly corporations or you know government organizations and um, we all need to rely on email even today you know to create accounts or and stuff here and there now since i'm a youtuber so many people try to approach me and I can't have like LinkedIn, I can't have Instagram or so many ways to communicate me like WhatsApp and stuff. So I need to make my email uh, perfect. Okay, I, I, I want to see all the messages which I receive because I receive a lot. Okay, so let me just open my email for, for a second. And yes, I'm going to open it publicly. Uh, so this is my email and as you can see my inbox is just few people who just want to reach out to me okay it's just uh, my friends it's just my viewers and if you see this junk this is all marketing emails all right automatically my email is so smart this is smart man uh it it is it automatically send any marketing email like there, there is this email i get so much about some bicycles i wanted bicycles when i was a kid but not now so it automatically just send it to junk and i check i check it sometimes later and if there is some email related to my you know uh, leeches account some verification code or anything which is related to some account activity like you know serp bot uh, emails or stuff like that then it automatically goes into accounts and if there is anything fishy it goes in spam automatically so basically now my email can breathe because all the emails in my inbox i don't have to worry it's just some friends it's just some people who just want to share their you know like dot files and stuff so how i managed to do, do this well, it's quite simple. I just wrote this program, bushrate.com mail bot, and it's a Python program I wrote one month back. And not myself, I use some AI pro AI programming. But uh, so I use Gemini API key and Gemini, and it's almost free. Uh, I don't care. Okay, yes, Gemini take and read the information, but I like the convenience. So if I open maybe Gemini client as a file, uh, there have to be some prompt. Uh, which um, you know like email processor maybe prompt template i think prompt template is the file so okay so it categorizes email into four categories one is personal email one is spam one is accounts and one is promotion and this program is good to use if you just if you want to use it just you know clone it um let me just show this to you quickly see this channel is almost dead okay i'm just making okay i made this program i just want to share it so uh, I, I'm not perfect. I'm not a YouTuber anymore, guys. So, by the way, and there was this girl. Uh, she was an HR and she once asked me, like, she wanted a... Uh, it was a new company she was working in and she wanted a professional email. So, I said, okay, you have to host your own email. And she said, oh, well, I can buy some, you know, Google Suites or Zoho Mail or something like that. I'm like, what's the point of it? The whole point of email is uh, that you have your own server. For example, it's her company, let's just assume waifu corp, okay, dot com. So if if you're portraying your email like this, all right, like hr at the rate waifu dot uh, waifu corp dot com, and you're using something like um you know Google Inside or something like uh, you know Proton Mail or whatever, okay. So what's the point? Like technically, I'm sending email to Google only. So why not just Gmail? And then she said it looks professional, and I'm like, okay, there is no point to debate. So. I mean, that it it kills the whole point of email, okay? It have to be your server. That's the whole point. At the rate, your IP address or your organization, okay? Now, the fun part is I'm using MX routing in order to manage my emails because, guys, if you remember, I lost the war, okay? I lost the war. If you go to my channel and search, like, books write an email war, you can see that um, it was hard. It was sad. It happened two years ago. I'm still devastated. But I tried running my own email server. It's always it's always paying. Okay, so MX Route, uh, it's not sponsored or something. I have been using this for more than two years now, 
and it just simply provides you um, the email credentials or whatever okay it just gives you that it's no bullshit email service all right it's not like google or something so uh, i'm quite happy with this service and I don't, I don't have to worry about whether my emails are working or not okay so thanks for the support by the way i i'm loving it uh so yeah mx cloud is what i'm using and you can use any client i use k9 on my phone on my desktop i use emacs right now i'm not using it so uh this is the program i created one virtual environment install all the requirements and i like to have system d service of this on the server so i have one recnat server and it just runs 24 7 automatically i don't have to worry about it it's all self-managed and there is this one env file which i will tell you what to put in uh, i think there have to be some readme okay there is no readme after this video before uploading this video you will see this uh, or readme here for sure okay so this env file i'm pretty sure if there, if i open some config like config.py so what you need is this email username email password and i also have to make imap host um basically in env because it's here so that's it like you just have to provide your email credentials and then one gemini api key which you can get it for free or you can just tweak this program if you are pro in it but this is so helpful okay so this is so helpful this you just run this as systemd in your server and just forget forget it okay that's what i did months ago and now whenever i open my email i just feel so fresh i just feel so good like it's it's so clean it's so perfect like i don't have to worry i don't see any junk here i just see uh, genuine emails and i set it up my notification in a way it only notify me for my inbox so uh, if something is in inbox and i get notification after the filtration so it's like a cron job runs um for every five minutes or so and the technique i use is i create this processed you id which actually stored the ids of the email which are already processed so it does not check any email twice all right so i did some okay it was quite struggling it's like one night i spent with this and and i like coding okay i did wipe coding a little bit but i i still use my you know knowledge and my engineering skills because uh at first i implemented with some another technique and it was help okay so uh, that's the program i just want to give you this program just go to the link in the description and uh, just see it and uh, let's just see some junk emails okay it automatically segregated it works perfectly it's gemini and i i'm allowing all the gmails account because gmail is mostly uh look at this i don't want to see all these emails like it's just it's just some business email and it's yeah it's so perfect a llm is so perfect segregating emails like it knows it knows okay this email is malicious or this email okay this guy is pretending to be a friend but it's not a friend it's just trying to you know, market something thanks to you for the offer so that's it okay that's my video and i might make few more technical videos because i have done a lot of ai solutions since ai is out i'm doing a lot of things but i don't make videos about it because i have a life